Hey, Jamari, what kind of uh, physical tone do you want to set when you see this game? Just, uh, you know, uh, as a defense, but just as a team, too, against Colorado. I mean, we know we're a physical team, so we're just going to go out and play our game. And we just hope that they can match that. So, I mean, we're just going to play our game. What do you have to do against uh, – just how do, you, how do you prepare? What do you have to do against a team that's athletic as Colorado is in skill positions? I mean, you know, they have great receivers, great O-line, a lot of athleticism. But, I mean, we're just going to stick to the game plan, you know, whatever Coach White calls, we're just going to run it to our perfection and play black shirt football the way we know we can play it. How much of an impact do you hope the crowd noise will be on Colorado's offense as being in the state? I mean, we know, like, coming into a game, we're not going to get a cadence. This is nine times out of ten is going to be a clap just because of the crowd. So just having good anticipation on that will help us up front. What's the, what's the challenge of a marquee game like this, kind of staying in the moment, not letting it get too big and making it more than it is? I mean, you know, there's a lot of outside noise, and you can kind of get caught into that. but. As a defense, we always talk about keeping the main thing, the main thing. You know, you are what you put on tape. So we're going against ourselves and the tape at the end of the day. How, how, do you, how do you block that out? Is there anything you can do for that? I mean, I don't, yeah, I don't know. I don't think so. I mean. you, guys, you guys did a pretty good job of getting pressure on Shooter Sanders last year, sacked him seven times, and still he, he operated pretty well um, when he had chances to throw. So. What you know? What do you take from that, in, in knowing how you attack the pass rush this year? I mean, he's a he's one of the best quarterbacks in the nation. Obviously, you know we're gonna try to slow him down, but just try to capitalize off the opportunity when it comes, when it is like a true drop pass or a true pass rush. So just trying to capitalize on those opportunities. Uh, it was really through practice because they gave us tempo all practice. And I mean, tempo is kind of hard when you know you got to get your cues, you got to see the cars and everything. So just through our practice the whole week, you know, scout team guys, they got us ready for that. They was going like super hurry up. <laughs> Even if it was an incomplete pass, they were still going to hurry up. So I mean, I think last week helped us a lot get ready for tempo. Who's simulating Shador Sanders? I don't think that it's just scout team quarterback. Yeah, it's just somebody, basic quarterback. We were talking to Makai earlier. What do you see out of him this year, even compared to last year? Is he just at a different level of his game? Oh, uh, yeah, he's playing with more confidence. You know, he was always a great player, but I feel like him, his biggest thing was playing fast with that confidence. And I mean, it's just, you've seen it Saturday. He's playing well. He's digesting the game good, and he's getting us right. When did you see that switch flip for him? Oh, it got to be during fall camp. You know, he kind of took on a more vocal role because he wasn't the kind that would, like, always talk. So fall camp, just seeing that come out of him, and then Saturday he played to his standard. Jamari, what are you expecting from the atmosphere on Saturday night? And you know, you've been a part of night games here before. Mm -hmm. um, what's uh, what do you think the crowd's going to be like? I mean, it's a night game, rivalry game. I know it's going to be electric. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you.